Hey Pirates, how are you? Uh, so this is the last call for Citadel builds. I just want to review, many of you already have Citadels. Uh, maybe like me you have some tokens. I got some Citadel tokens sitting around and I'm going to improve my build a little bit. Um, I would not advise, unless you're a low level player and you want to build Citadels right now, a, a better strategy would be to get Empyreans or to get Icebreakers or to get Monoliths. They're the brand new ships. So of course, they're going to have a much longer shelf life in game, probably another year. While the Citadel here, who has been my main tool for doing Forsaken Mission for the past year, is probably coming long on the tooth and I'm not sure for how much longer it's going to be the go-to ship for you to do FM and get to tier 5 real fast. I'm not saying it's going to be useless. Again, if you're a low level, that's going to do. Okay, but so let's get started. Uh, this is a basic Citadel build. It's not the best one, by the way. But it has a mix of Judgment Mortars and Coaxial Firestorms. And I, I just mix them here just to say honestly, either one works. I know people will be discussing and arguing uh, judgments versus coaxial or this or that and whatnot. Reality is the coaxial is lighter, fires faster, but does less damage than the judgment per shot, which is okay. It gets the job done in FM. It gets the job done in the new raid cycle. The other thing is part of the damage from the coaxial firestorm comes from uh, concussive damage. It's not 100% explosive. The other thing is the coaxial firestorm will also add a lot of armor to your ship, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Depends uh, how you like it. But keep in mind, each coaxial firestorm will add five minutes of repairs to your ship. So if you use all of them, you're going to have about 40 more minutes to repair this ship from dead. Good news is if you drive them right and you're not sniped on the map, uh, your citadel should never die. Because they should never be in the front line. They should sit behind a good tank. And if you're looking for a good tank, I have other videos about it. Uh, the links to them are in the description of this video on YouTube. So again, mortars, either judgment or coaxial, any one of them will do. Basic specials, everyone would agree. Uh, and my citadels have speed system 5. They don't need hydraulic resistors because they don't get in line of the tur the torpedo pylon so they don't take concussive damage siege battery 3 which gives you turret defense in case you take some mortar from a turret or a missile or something like that and it gives you decent building damage uh, and the other one combustion system 2 if you don't have combustion system 2 explosive system 4 would be the second best option the difference is pretty much spread and splash you get more splash from this guy and more spread, which is good against FM targets because the turrets are spread across a big island. So with the spread, by aiming at one turret, you kill all of them with big splash. Now, this is where a lot of people go for different things. Like uh, some more cautious drivers, they would keep MX3 to have more defense against turrets. But again, if your citadel will sit behind a tank, it should not be taking fire often, so you don't need that special. That special, in my mind, is a waste, and that's not what I use in my citadels. I actually, at first, I had splash upgrade. Okay, and here, if you want more building damage, you could have siege targeting three. It's a choice, or you could go for yet another splash upgrade. I mean, or if you have it, instead of splash upgrade, you can go with explosive upgrade more explosive damage okay but that was before we had a whole lineup of new specials that are good for mortars and explosive ships and i'm going to play with them just a little bit here and that's how you could improve your citadels oh before i go there i use v armor basic v armor the other option because the citadels are so slow so to keep up with the tanks uh, any extra speed you can get go for it right so if you it's either V armor or if you want to make it more tanky, you could do streamlined cadmium, but it's twice as much repair. Even partially, even ranked, I think still going to be like almost twice as long to repair. 
think it's overkill and it takes a lot of weight. So D2V, just for speed. Uh, mortars, like I said, any mix of judgment, coaxial, all judgment, all coaxial. If you want to go crazy and you got that mortar in the last ray, uh, sorry, TLC this week, you could go and put a combat mortar. Gives more damage, reloads as fast as the judgment, travels as fast as the judgment, is heavier, but deals a lot more damage. So, yeah, you could play with that. Up to you, you know. Back to the specials. I would today, instead of having splash upgrade, I would go with either viscosity regulator, 50% more splash against just like 15 or 12 from the splash upgrade. Okay, problems you're going to face is when you do that, it gets too heavy. So now you got to trim back and that's when the, having the coaxial mortar, which is lighter, helps a lot. See, just by having two of those, they're lighter. And now I can have a lot more splash, right? Instead of explosive upgrade, you could go crazy on splash or you could go for building damage and projectile speed, which is what a lot of people went to for it, like high velocity rounds. Okay, I know it's a ballistic special, but splash is a generic statistic. Projectile speed is a generic statistic. So is building and wall damage. So this one, actually, the only thing you don't get is the ballistic damage. You get all the other three benefits. So this is totally worth it. And again, if it's too heavy, you can try to trim back to lighter mortars. Okay. Or like if I replace one more here, should do the trick. Boom. Okay. So now you get massive splash, good spread. Massive building damage, the fastest projectile speed you could get when you combine the project 37% from here, 100% from here, plus the bonus from the Harlock Citadel, if you have it. So you get it all. I mean, this is a great setup. If you want to stick to judgment and you don't want to refit your citadels too heavily, a compromise you can make if you want to keep the judgments there is you put... I strongly recommend you add high velocity rounds if you have it. But then instead of viscosity regulator, you just go for the much lighter splash or explosive upgrade and problem solve. So th this is, by the way, how I'm running my citadels. I mean, two of them at least. They look just like this. Okay, so combustion system two, high velocity rounds, splash upgrade. Siege Battery 3, Speed System 5, V Armor, all judgments. That's how I have mine. Okay. If you were to build this from scratch, you can see here's a 12 day, 15 hour build with Officer and with RD at level 30. So all the bonuses. One of my ships uh, to hit the mines in FM, I have hydro, uh, hydrodynamic shells, but this will not help in the upcoming raid. And that upcoming raid will become the future FM. So Right now, there's no point anymore in having hydrodynamic shells. So this is a good build. You could have three of those. Maybe one of them, and that's also what I did on mine. One of the ships, I have countermeasure. So I changed, sorry, I changed Siege Battery 3 to Frontline Countermeasure System. Okay, and that still gives me turret defense, but now I have buffs for countermeasures and you can just put a few gales if you have in here. So I have a half defense ship and, and, and that is good because many times we don't have the tank in line with the source of mortars. Your tank's pointing toward an island, uh, there's a citadel behind you firing. So you might want to have something like this. On its own, it's not enough to, to, to tank all, countermeasure all the, all the fire. But your tank should have most of the countermeasure. And this ship is more like a backup countermeasure ship. Okay, so one like this. And three like the all attack one. That should do the trick. One of the citadels, if you have, should be a Harlock citadel. 
just built exactly like the one I had here before with all mortars and, and siege battery. One last trick we can do here. Let me just go back to the way it was. But if last raid you were able to redeem this, the garrison battery, that will actually give you, it's better than siege battery, it's lighter than siege battery. Okay, so here, and it gives you extra 18% extra explosive damage. You just lose a little bit on building damage, but the overall explosive damage more than makes up for that. So here's another setup. Okay, if I were to build citadels today from scratch, I would build them exactly like this, or remove a mortar or go really light on one mortar and fit viscosity regulator here to get maximum splash. So here we go. Let me see if I can fit a, some lightweight mortar in here. Maybe a couple more. Let's, let me see. Still too heavy. There you go. So it could be something like this. Okay, a mix of coaxial and judgment. Um, you get the garrison battery, you get super high splash. Okay, 150% almost. So that's it. And that's a fast build, actually. By the way, the coaxial firestorm builds faster than judgment. So if you're in a pinch, go for it. Like I said, it does the job. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoy. That could be a good citadel build if you need to go all judgments. Uh, stick to splash or explosive upgrade here instead of viscosity regulator. This one's too heavy. Garrison battery if you have, if not siege battery. Um, and that's it. If you don't have high velocity rounds, fall back again on more splash or more building damage with siege targeting three. Okay, but having projectile speed as high as you can makes a huge difference. It's less time for your tank to be taking fire because the mortars will hit faster. You won't be firing more mortars, but the mortars you fire will be hitting faster. And that's important. Stay frosty. Uh, hope you all have a good raid. Um, and again, Citadels should be a viable option behind a solid tank like a Zalos or a Tight Seeker. Okay. Take care, everyone. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video uh, for more videos like this for other ships and more Battle Pirates content. Take care.